come in thanks to several roof collapses. Several collapses have been reported all across the state. It's believed they all came crashing down thanks to the weight and buildup of all the snow and ice. And this morning, Fox Connecticut's Anthony DiLorenzo is live at the scene of one of those collapses. We join him now live in Manchester. Anthony? Sarah, this is Lou's Auto Upholstery here on Center Street in Manchester, and everything from the cinder blocks to the insulation and the wood that was used to build this 35-year-old business have come crashing down under the weight of two feet of snow, devastating to the owners, and this is a scene that's happening all across Connecticut. The stress of snow cracking, crumbling, and collapsing buildings like this auto upholstery shop, it's been a mainstay in Manchester for 35 years. Two feet of snow causing the roof to come crashing down overnight on two cars and a boat. It's a scene playing out across the state. The amount of snow, if you don't keep up with it, it's going to give you a problem. In Wallingford, homes and businesses are buckling. You can see the damage done inside the Stillwood Inn, where the only guests are the cleanup crews. The glass doors, when you look into the left, that's where the office is. Everything in there is, is got to be damaged or destroyed. Firefighters spent the day running around the state responding to calls like this one in Middlebury. The family's home may have to be demolished with the roof partially collapsing and the walls caving in. And in Portland, at least three buildings caved under pressure. Perhaps, though, the most tragic case was in Summers, where a massive barn came down on workers and several award-winning horses inside. Sadly, two mares had to be euthanized. More animals were put in peril in Middletown by a partial roof collapse at Higgins Farm, leaving the building condemned and building inspectors busy. We've had a lot of snow over the last uh, month or so, and, you know, and eventually, yes, it does get heavy. It ices up underneath. It causes additional weight loads on these roofs, and some of them were not built for these kind of loads. And we do advice for any homeowners there who are concerned that all this snow is building up in their roofs. It's important to get a roof rake and take all of that stress off of the roof to relieve all of it from all that pressure. If you hear any cracking or crumbling, it's important to call emergency officials right away. And also make sure your exits for your house or your business are clear just in case you have to escape quickly. As for this business here, the utilities have been shut off and it has been condemned. Most likely will have to be completely torn down. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Fox, Connecticut. Thanks, Anthony. And in Massachusetts, two men are alive after a parking garage.